Jack's review. <coughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's like a hair on my lens. Okay, that was kind of weird. What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful day. Um, my voice sounds terrible because I'm currently sick. Got some weird throw stuff going on, so please uh, just ignore the terrible sound of my voice. It's fine. Well, I'll be fine. I'm okay. I'm gonna make it. I don't know how. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. Got a phone for you today. As you saw in the title, Axe Review. Um, this is definitely something up up my alley since I am, you know, the Viking. <laughs> the company by the name of Viking Weapons on Instagram, Viking underscore weapons, sent me a beautiful, well, I don't know if it's beautiful yet because it's still packaged up. They sent me a throwing axe that they wanted me to test out and do all that fun stuff with. So here we are making a video. So I came all the way from, I think it's Russian. I really think it's Russian because I don't know. Some of these words are Russian, I think. Anyway, it came a long ways, came in here the other day. So we're gonna do a nice little unboxing and then we're gonna take it to our local ax throwing place. Anyway, it's called Stumpy's and we're gonna see how well it holds up. So this is gonna be a fun video for everybody. I'm excited, I really love throwing axes as you've seen on my like TikTok where I called out Jason Momoa. He still hasn't responded. What's the deal, Jason? What's the deal, bro? You scared? What's the deal? Anyway, I hope y'all like my new setup. I decided to do it in front of my new PC that I have over here that I got from X Gamer PC. I have done a video, ugh, I have done a review on it. I'm waiting to post it because I've got some stuff going on for the end of it that I want to get done first before I upload it. Anyway, there will be a full review of my awesome new PC. As you can see, I have cool logos on my monitors. Fun, fun, fun. So let's, ooh. Did you hear that burp? Anyway, let's get into it. Here's the axe. Let's go ahead and... I don't even know where to begin opening this because there's just tape everywhere. Like actually the entire thing is tape. Eh. Do I have a knife? Do I have a knife? I don't think I have a knife. We'll use a pen. The pin instantly broke when I tried to... Wow. It's broken. Cool. Love it. Um, hmm. Hmm. Aha. I have a knife. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with my knife. Of course. Yoink. That has to be very, very careful. Oh, boy. This knife is extreme overkill for this, but, you know, whatever. Okay, I've got a piece of it off. All right, put that down there. I'm actually just tired of all this tape. Like, I don't even know what to do. Just trying to cut some of the tape out of the equation because there's a lot of tape up here. This is going to be the whole video of me just trying to get the tape off. That's actually what it's going to come down to. Ooh. Handle's beautiful so far. Look at the handle. You see it? Ooh. Mmm. Uh, ooh. Okay. Okay. Ooh. This is actually turning out to be gorgeous, by the way. Now, the important thing is that I cut too deep because you don't want to cut the actual axe. I'm going to set this down before it falls on my toe. I can't wait to tell the guy that sent me this to not use as much tape next time. <sighs> it's just nothing but tape upon tape upon tape. There's still just so much. Oh, there we go. We have broken free. Oh my goodness, here we go. Ooh. Guys, this is sick. And I'm looking up at my monitor that I have to make sure I'm getting a good shot of it. Oh my goodness, look at the, look at the handle on this thing. 
You don't see that? Oh my goodness, look at that. This is, yeah, I think it's real. It's got a little sheath on it. Ooh, that is a sharpened edge right there. Look at that. That's sharp. That is beautiful. Look at the head on it, dude. This looks, look at the leather wrapping right here. Oh my goodness. And it's not too heavy. It feels really good. You see it in my hand. It's not too heavy. Oh my goodness. And there's the runes on it. You can see, hold on, I gotta go this way. Look at that. That is beautiful, dude. The craftsmanship in this is just amazing. Uh, and then what was in here? I saw a little piece of paper. Let me just check it out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a little sticker. It's a little sticker. We'll put it over there. This is a nice leather sheath for the ax. It's really cool. So you just put this in like this. And then buckle it up for safety. And this is 100%. Boom, throwing axe. This is beautiful. I cannot stress how beautiful this is. The leather wrapping up here at the top. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at that, guys. I'm just, I am blown away right now. This is actually my third axe. Um, I have two more. One I bought, which is a replica, and the other one um, Shelby got me for Christmas. This is fantastic, though. I can't wait to take this out. I can't do it today, but we're gonna take it out to the axe throwing place to see how well it performs. And I'm very excited to do that part. But this is just gorgeous. So it's gonna, we're gonna cut over now to their website so you can actually see all the stuff they provide on their website. And then we'll go to the axe throwing place and we'll see how well it performs. So, gosh, this is beautiful. I'm excited. Thank you so much. All right, let's go over to the website. Boom, here we go. This is vikingaxe.com, but it's axe without a E. So it's vikingax.com, shipped worldwide. Pog. Scroll down, they do PayPal pretty much. Bing, bing, bing. Look at this, double-sided Viking axe, handmade helm of all. Dude, all these axes look absolutely beautiful. Like I wouldn't even wanna use any of them, but apparently they're all able to use for everything. Look at this sword, ah, oh, who wants, I want a sword. And you can see these are very expensive. You know, like you're looking at this one here in the middle of the battle axe is $300. Um, from what I can tell from what I have, I haven't been to the axe throwing place yet. They're meant to do stuff. You know what I mean? They're not just for show. They're meant to, if you want to chop a tree down with one, you can. Look at that one. That's sick. Two-handed berserker axe. Yes, please. It's massive. <laughs> it's that axe from a God of War. Nice. Um... That's kind of like what I have. Um, it's got a little bit more detailing, a little bit more of the um, engraving down the handle. So that's 300. This is, look at the knife. I want some, I've seen some of the knives. The, the Viking knife, I think it is, is the one I want. There's so many on here that I want. But these are all just beautiful pieces of art, beautiful pieces of work. Look at the carving on this one. We're going to, okay. Didn't want to do it. I just wanted to look at it. Can I look at the picture? Nope. Oh, I don't want to get new. No, 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 no. Anyway, I guess I click more. There we go. Look at that though. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at the carving. And as you can see on the one they sent me, it's, the carving is gorgeous. But yes, this is really cool. They've got a lot of nice stuff here. You can follow them on Instagram at Viking underscore weapons. They post a lot of pictures almost daily of um, all the stuff they have. Oh, this is the one, the hunting knife. I gotta remember, click more. This is the, this is the knife I would like. Look at that. Looks freaking beautiful. Almost looks elven. Um, if y'all Lord of the Ring fans, almost like elvish ish. Ish. Elvish. That's really cool. But yeah, big fan of their stuff. I can't wait to take this to the Axe Throne place. Um, I just wanted to show y'all the website real quick so you can see what it looks like. I love the picture. Pretty sure that's from. Nope, it's not from the TV show Vikings because they didn't have that. Yeah, anyway. But yeah, so now we're going to go to the Axe Throne place here in Greenville. It's called Stumpy's. Huge fan of it, love going. It's actually a BYOB, so you can take your own beer, throw axes and drink beer. Who doesn't want to do that? Me, I want to do it. Um, I know the owners, they're amazing people, good people. Uh, if you're in the Greenville area, please check out Stumpy's, it's a lot of fun. All right, so now we're gonna cut to that. Do a little ax throwing, get a nice little review on it. So I'll see y'all in the next frame. All right, so cutting to the next day or a couple days later, it's been a while since the last clip we just saw. We're outside of Stumpy's in downtown Greenville where we're gonna give 
this awesome axe a run for its money. Let's go. I don't need a bike car. <laughs> Are they closed? <laughs> Wait, is this how they do things? Jason Momoa has one of the tailgate hoodies. He's got one of the what? The tailgate hoodies. He's got one of the tailgate hoodies. He's got one of the tailgate hoodies. He's got one of the tailgate hoodies. Okay, so where's mine at? <laughs> I've, got, I've got to do that now since we had. Uh, double, triple? Double. Do you have triple? Nah. Just if double. double. I, 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 I got to do like what you did. I was going to say double myself with Jason Momoa. I don't think Jason's too low uh, 70. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't think he's a little more. It's like, hey, we got a big boy over here. Yeah, well, a guy that lives here in Greenville, his son is Jason Moore's um, neighbor. And Jason Moore got a nice place to check his I'm saying, I'm, so you know too, he has not responded to my TikTok. And I am, I am offended personally. <laughs> Cause he went on Ellen and threw axes, yeah. and but yeah, he can't respond to my TikTok. It's at 3.9 million. Like, what is the deal? What do I have to do now? You know? <laughs> y'all can shake it. I'll tell you what do y'all. So, y'all might be in the video. What do y'all think? This is the axe that they sent me. What do y'all think? Probably very light. He said he built it to regulation size. Oh, wow. So it's, head small. it's the traditional ancient style, which is all the weights at the top. So um, the difference between what we normally teach, it would have a metal running down in wrap with rubber. That was a little bit more balanced and you can, it's easier to get one revolution out of it. When it's top heavy, it's gonna wanna spin faster. So you gotta make sure you're not flicking your wrist really hard so that it makes a slow, gradual. So just like it's gonna take me a while actually. Get to I think it makes, it makes like a little bit, <laughs> but the finish on it's beautiful. Yeah. How about I said though, as, good as good as you were when you, the past few times you've come though, this isn't going to be much of a problem. It's going to be an adjustment, but once you get the feel, because I've thrown hatchets like that, yeah, and like that. it was weird my first throw off. Mm -hmm. But once you get that, once you get that feel, if you already kind of know how to throw one of ours, you'll be able to kind of work through it pretty well. Yeah. In, a, in a way, it's almost like you kind of have to flick your wrist with this just a little bit because since the weight is more evenly distributed throughout the the ones that we have, mm -hmm. it just. It's, you know, it's, you know, top of his, yeah. Do you have one so we can compare? Yeah. Because I've thrown, like, ones that, like, bury the hatchet before, and, I mean, for the most part, as far as, like, you know, it's a wood handle, metal blade, it's like, I don't know, it's just weird that they're really top heavy, and that the handle doesn't I'm going to say, you could definitely even feel, like, that difference in weight. Where... Here's the comparison. Full metal versus metal and wood. So cool. So I'll be able, I should be able to yeah. stick this. Yeah, it'll be a slight adjustment, but. And is it? The physics are the same. Is that good? Oh, yeah, that's fine, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna cut a piece of yeah. paper, so you're good. I thought you were about to knock this over on top of me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this lean over, like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get uh, an EQ foundation. Cool. We're gonna get everything set up and ready. We're gonna get this thing rolling. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I appreciate you helping us do this. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That thing's awesome. Oh, man. So bad. I think it's 300 on the website. Woo! I think. My wallet doesn't want Oh, <laughs> All that weight is driving it into the wood. So beginners normally want one of our style hatches that has metal and rubber instead of the wooden handle. I'll say try try a lighter throw. Your first one off, like don't because I if I remember correctly, like you have a little bit of a like a stronger throw than normal. Mm -hmm. So I would try a lighter throw just the first off, just because if you give the power that you normally give with our hatchets on that one, if it does hit the butt end of that, it could break. I mean, it looks trustworthy enough. Quick video. <laughs> cool. I'm going to break this axe. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> That's all I heard. Uh, if you need some more mounts for ours just to get your rotation down. And this hoodie's amazing. It's nice. How much do I need? Are you good? Are you yeah. Sure? yeah. 100%. Give us a shout out and you're good. Stuffies in Greenville. That's all I'm going to say right there. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have a website and everything? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put all that in link, link down below. I'll give you a little thing so you have all of our input. Perfect. I'm breaking his head. I'm going to say though, if, if he makes it specifically for throwing, I'm sure he's got it reinforced enough. Like he probably uses a, a hardy enough wood that it's not going to snap. Perfect. Especially if it's as expensive as it is. Like normally the, like the more pricier ones, they use high quality wood. And that's what uh, my pastor was like, what if you break it? And I was like, it's content. 
I'll be mad. The guy who sent it to me will be mad, but it's content. The video worked out. I'm gonna get a warm up version though, because it's been a minute. Just keep it vertical, straight, create the arc. Don't laugh at me if I made it, if I mess with the first throw. It's been a minute. See, I'm breaking it. I already know it. My throw like is breaking it. <laughs> this is getting broke tonight. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. First try, you know? First try. <laughs> well, it's not like you got a whole crowd watching you. Yeah, yeah, that never happened. It never happened, you know what I mean? We're getting warmed up. You know, Jason who? <laughs> you can keep saying that until the response. Now you said the biggest difference between this one and that one is the weight. Weight distribution, whereas there's metal running, so it's a little bit more balanced. That one's very top heavy. So it's going to want to over. So it's got to be closer or further? If it tries to over revolve on you, then closer. But the 12 foot line is the closest you really would want to get to it. That's, That's the foul line. So in professional tax run, you can't go past that line. Okay, thank you for saying that because in my TikTok, people were like, oh my God, you're so close. No wonder you hit it. So you hear it here first. <laughs> this is the professional line you don't cross, and I was behind it. Because everybody's like, oh my God, you're so close. Yeah, if you watch professionals, they hug that line. You want to be as close as possible, yeah. And I mean, you like, just don't it, be yeah. it doesn't help that, like, the two handed axes, you have to be farther back because it has to get two rotations. So, like, everybody's always, if you compare it to a full full size axe like the one we have mounted down here, like, it's it needs that larger distance. So, with hatchet throwing, you don't need to be 30 feet back. So, ha! There you go, all you commenters, keyboard yeah. warriors. This is the axe from Viking Axe. Um, I think I'm ready. Everyone get ready. <laughs> Epic music. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so from a professional standpoint, what do you think of this? That is a fantastic, fantastic axe. The blade is absolutely beautiful. The handle is beautiful. And with a very, very little adjustment, you don't even have to adjust the throw that much. You just have to know that six inch difference in stepping back, and it throws very similar after that. But yeah, the slight adjustment to what we're used to, but <clears throat> fantastic axe. Six to say. Ten out of ten. I'm about to say, like, there's nothing more to add to that. Like, it's just, so much better it's beautiful. It again. just glides out of your hand just right. And like you said, once you once you kind of figure out where you need to be, man, it's just, it's smooth sailing. And with that much decoration on the handle, I thought it would kind of be a weird release because you don't throw out of your hand. You let it slide out of your palm. It's not my first throw, right? <laughs> <laughs> weird <It's> release. <laughs> but no, it comes smooth out of the hand, which is very important. Fantastic. Awesome. So there you go. Viking, Viking Weapons makes real stuff. Check them out. Links down below. Also, thank you Stumpies of Greenville for letting us come in here with some crazy nonsense to throw. Yeah. Um, they're linking everything's down below as well. They're open every day except Monday and Tuesday. Yep. So if you're in Greenville or near the area, please come check them out. You might see me here trying to call Jason Momoa some more. Um, <laughs> that's the video, guys. Thank you all for coming out. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button. Like and subscribe. Leave some comments. I don't care. Do whatever. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace.